some people that annoy me. Dude, before you get all upset with me, like being like, oh, you're so you're so full of yourself. You just you just think that everyone has got problems, blah blah blah, and like getting really upset because you do some of those things and you know you do them. You know you do them. Um, one, yes, I am so full of myself. Like honestly, I take way too many. I have like I have almost a thousand selfies on my Facebook page. That's just how conceited I am. So just if if you ever feel bad while watching this, just think she's really, really, really full of herself. So I mean, at least I'm not full of myself. And then you'll be happy. And I like it when people are happy. And two, I mean, I do some of these also. So. I'm just basically saying this so I can know when I want to mentally choke myself and when I am mentally choking you. Have fun with this endeavor of sorts. Learning about what annoys the fucking shit out of me. Numero uno. People who use metal as an adjective. Metal is a genre of music. Let me get this clear. It's not a way of telling people how cool your white chapel shirt is. The second person that annoys the crap out of me. The guys at the gym who slam down these hand weights in their hand just to show everyone that they're working out. You know who you are, now look at me. Stop it. When I'm on the elliptical listening to like Slayer or something and I can still hear BOOM! It means that you're using too much weight and this makes you no more attractive than you were before you started working out at the gym today. Number three, this is a big one. Girls who pretend to like punk or metal because scene boys are just so attractive. Cut it out. I see you at Warp Tour, I see you at almost every concert I go to. Listen, we're not into posers. Those guys are not into posers. And while that's being said, just about everyone who pretends to like punk or metal annoy the crap out of me. We all know who you are. It's obvious you're listening to Avril Lavigne like underneath those, those little earphones you have on a daily basis. And you don't know the lyrics to any of the songs. So while we're all like, about it, well, I did. You told me, think about it, I did. My advice to you is just Give up and be yourself because people will like you better. Number four, people who say mature. It's mature. Like, like seriously, it's mature. Numero sank. Haha, <laughs> that's five in French. People who insinuate that my rings are weapons. I have this one that's a skull, and then I have like, like these two thingies. Like this one's on upside down. Besides the little opposing girls that I talked about, this is one of the most common things on this list. Like, if I wanted to get a weapon, I would get a knife or something. Like, not a skull ring or something with, like, the little lion thing right here. Look at how, like, like, why would the, why would these be weapons to you? What is your definition of a weapon? <sighs> Number six. People who list off really classic bands or musicians to act like they have really good taste in music, like they're super educated in music. The Stones, The Doors, The Beatles, Metallica, Ella Fitzgerald, like. There's a reason why we all have different taste in music. You know that, right? Seven. People who give backhanded compliments. This annoys the crap not out of just me, but everyone. You leave the place being like, really good, like, hey, she thought I was really cool, and then you realize, oh crap, I have a problem. If you're my burrito maker at Qdoba, and you tell me, wow, good for you, after making like this huge burrito that I want like so badly because I haven't like had anything to eat the entire day, and I'm just like, nah. You don't even recognize that I'm going to be sitting in my room later that night thinking, I have a real problem. Like, I have an, I have an eating disorder or something. Like, because I eat too much food. Like, that's how you make me feel, bro. And you guys know who you are more than anyone else. Like, you don't just make a backhanded compliment without thinking about it. That stuff takes, like, well thought out backhanded compliments. Because, like, I've made backhanded compliments to people I really don't like because they're the best way you can jab at them with them like totally being phased for the like first three seconds that you 
tell them the backhanded compliment, and then they go away later feeling like so awful about themselves. Like, cut it out. <laughs> stop it. You stop and I will. Number eight. Girls on Omegle, or chat roulette, or like chat random, or anything like strangers on the internet webcamming site. I seriously feel like there's no hope for you guys. Like, I type in in the little, like, what do you like so I can match you up with the person that likes the same stuff as you? I'm like, Batman or Adventure Time or Pierce the Veil or something. And I can see you when we get matched up together. And in some cases, I can also hear you. So don't disconnect because I'm not going to ask you, like, to see your boobs or to start this weird internet relationship with you. And stop calling me ugly. Please and thank you. Number nine, the common jerk. You see me on the beach, I'm with my friends. I'm not looking for a hookup. If you see me at a concert or an all ages event or something, I have that weird little wristband thingy. I'm under 18. Also, when you dress like the last black man you saw walking down Main Street, it's obvious you're like just some like upper middle class college boy, like a child who's wandered into a theater. You're totally out of your element and I'm going to find you more funny than attractive. Which brings me to number 10. White, upper middle class males who like to act ghetto. Now let me reiterate. White, suburban, well taken care of rich boys. I want to drop you off in the streets of Brooklyn just so you can see how ghetto you are. Girls who decide they hate other girls because they have something that they want. When you have you, and that girl probably has problems you couldn't even dream of. Um, two, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. That's what your mom taught you when you were a kid. And if it wasn't, that's what I'm teaching you now, because that's just common courtesy, honey. Numero dos, or eleven. Girls who influence anorexia and then claim to promote good self-esteem. I'm getting deep now. I just wanted to say this because I want to go into fashion and when you only hire size one to four models then say in interviews or magazines or something that you want to have you want girls to have good self-esteem but not everyone can be a model you in fact are becoming the thing that is consistently trying to be fought in the fashion industry just saying we at like 12 um, yeah 12 this one's a little personal but it's something that is relevant to me and to lots of people. Guys who try to start long distance relationships. I mean, unless you're like a really, really good guy, just just stop trying, just really, because you don't look like the good guy in this situation. I don't know one guy who can pull off not lying to their girlfriend this way. So, just saying. And finally, snobs in general. I'll say this a little slowly for you, because you know who you are, just like all of those other people know who they are. If I was your mom, or my mom was your mom, you would be undergoing some very harsh and cruel punishment. For instance, if you break your iPhone four different times and then expect a brand new replacement, just... just... I don't even have an iPhone. It's, and it's not just iPhones, it's vacations, it's cars, it's computers, it's iPad, iPads, all of that jazz. Like, your parents are spending money on you that I would never even dream of expecting from anyone, from like Michael Moore or like some, like, like Bill Gates. Like, I would never ask Bill Gates to buy me like five iPods. I mean, he could afford it, but I mean, dude, that's like, that's a bunch of groceries you could buy like right there. I could be eating with that money or paying my tuition for school. So I guess what I'm trying to say to all of you is shut up and be grateful. Happy holidays. Um, yeah, hope you like the video. That's just some stuff that annoys the crap out of me. Bye bye. It's the most wonderful time of the year.